Superintendent Hastings. Like the battle. I know who you are, sir. <laughs> now, listen. I would have thought that if anybody understood that counter-terrorism can get you off, it would have been you, Steve. What's that supposed to mean? You were involved in an operation where an innocent man got killed and you are running around free as a bird. And it's all because all of our senior officers and politicians would rather see ten innocents die than let one terrorist succeed. There's another possibility. Yeah? Guys, his figures are for real. Oh, I see what you're getting at. You think he's Bob Beeman and I think he's what? Ben Johnson. I mean, admittedly, an athlete does come along once in a while who breaks the world record by a mile. And sometimes he's genuinely superhuman, but I will lay you odds all day long that more often than not, the guy's a cheat. I've been authorised to notify you that we have grounds to widen our investigation into DCI Gates' performance of professional duties. Widen the investigation? What? We have grounds under professional duties and general conduct, specifically the practice of laddering which uh, is the amplification, indeed, the multiplication of charges against an offender. I know what laddering is, sir. I'd like to determine the conditions of Tony's suspension from duty. Oh, no, 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 we're not asking for a suspension at this particular time. We don't think he's a threat to his fellow officers, and indeed, the public in general. Now, why should the citizens of this country be denied his selfless service interview terminated? Look, we got a call saying the next term was on the way. We'd had notices about unnecessary overtime, so we decided to go. Oh, we decided, we decided. Who decided, Matthew? Huh? Did you decide, Matthew? A breach of police procedure that resulted in the untimely death of these two young men? What? Well, did Gates order you to go? No, whatever happened, you'd stick by him. There's two yellow notices against your card already, son. One more strike and you're out. No job, no pension. You owe Gates for giving you a second chance. But you don't owe me future. The red notice is only at the start, son. I'll go for the criminal conviction. You know I will. You don't owe him a cover-up for a double murder. It was Tony. He was the one that gave the order. Tony Gates cherry-picks the crimes that are easy to solve, then he dumps the rest. Then he invents a whole series of additional charges that never make it into the courtroom, but boost his clean-up rates. Laddering. That's how Tony Gates has come. So he caught where he is because he had to be twice as good as the next bloke. What? So what are you saying? To be corrupt, he's got to be twice as bad? No, sir. Victimisation of a black officer... Oh, is... hang on a second. Don't you talk to me about victimisation. What are you saying? Let me tell you something, son. Me and my best mate, we went through basic training together, OK? First year out, the sinners on this particular job. The two Catholics, are you with me? We go straight over a pipe bomb. I end up in intensive care. Him, they bury. The logbook goes missing. Nobody says a word. Don't you talk to me about victimization. 